Hey, this is Elliot Smolsky. I'm Mike Burst student, and um, we're going to be doing triplet pot of flaw flaws, which is, well, a pot of flaw flaw, but in triplet form. Well, how do you play a pot of flaw flaw then? A pot of flaw flaw, it's easier to think of it as a flaw pot of flaw, like a Where, samba. Where's the pata? Is that like potty? The pata is the diddle in the middle. Oh, is okay. that a diddle? Yeah. You mean the para? Para singles in the middle? Yeah. Okay, show me how that works. I don't know what you're talking about here. So. Oh, like so, so can you go slower so I can do that? I'm going to accent so I can hear it. So it's flaw. Flaw. Oh, you mean flaw like? Like flam. Oh, flam. Short for flam. Flaw, pa, da, flaw. Flaw, pa. Okay. So yell it out so I can hear it over your word, over your playing, so I can follow you. Flaw, pa, da. Okay, now I got it. Now I got it. What What do you mean? What's that thing under it? I can barely read from it. Different sounds and motions. The sa. Oh, is sa samba. What Why do you mean samba? What? By sa uh, a samba is a. Uh, if it was a, if it's that speed, that sounds like a famous song. What's a, what's the, isn't the samba, right? But what is it when it's that, that slow? What? Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova is like half speed, isn't it? Half speed samba. So that would work in the samba mm -hmm. or the bossa nova. Oh, nice. So, so that is somehow like this thing? What's, why is it like this? The, why is it like a triplet pot of flaw flaw? Oh, why is this? Yeah. Why is that called a triplet pot of flaw flaw? Because it is very similar to a pot of flaw flaw, except instead of having four, Beats it has three like a triplet. Oh, okay. So, oh, I get it. So, what's a triplet? Triplet is a group of, well, three notes. Three notes, and it looks like what? It looks like single strokes. Single strokes, right? Yeah. Let me see that. Well, that's a samba. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pada flop, pada flop, pada flop, pa. No, it'd be flop, pada. It's flop, pot, flop. There's those no pot, uh. Yeah. Flop, pot, flop. <laughs> That's stupid, isn't it? Flop, pot, flop. Flop, pot, flop. Show me that. Flop, pot, flop. Say it. Flop, pot, flop. Flop, pot, flop. Flop, pot, flop. So that's a triplet, just with a space after it to go to yeah. the other side. Okay. So you can put a space between things just to kind of think, yeah. and then you take it out. What would it sound like if you took it out, the space? And alternated? Yeah, just like you did. Sweet. All right. So what, what do we do now? So now, to understand and learn the rudiment, we're going to break it down and go, uh, we're going to cinch by the inch. Um, uh, so here's the skeleton, and you can use this as a check pattern, as you can see you draw all the flams, so it's just the single strokes in the rudiment. Oh, so okay. That's the, the triplet. Oh, okay. So you like want to what? say it? Uh, yeah. Say what you play? So, 
like right, left, right, left, 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 right, 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 left,
Yeah, that's the same as the oh, I see. inverted plan path. It's just the opposite. So, yeah, when you play the parts, you play... Oh, and it's right both. underneath it. You wrote it right underneath it, didn't you? Yeah. Ah, those two belong together. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then and the next two in the line up there are what? The next two. These two. Keep going. Yeah, those two. What are those two? These two. Yeah. Uh, that's a tap flam. So, oh, because you wrote it right underneath. Yeah. Right underneath the, where was the first, the top one? It was all, the left, right flam. Oh, that's in the, oh. over there, there. Yeah, ah, yeah. those two are the same as those two. Okay, yeah. they're just opposites. I get it. And then you kept going? Yeah, then you wrap or something. You're, you're doing two flams, right flam or right flam? Yeah, so that is just the flams, flam flams. Why yeah. why is it on, why do you go that way? You were doing two next to each other. Two next to each other. Oh, because you're you're repeating it. Yeah. Oh, you, what do you mean you're repeating? What what do I mean by repeating it? You're repeating the right side. Show me. Yeah, you're you gonna can repeat the right side, repeat the left, or alternate. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So if you repeat the one side, what? How did you get the right flam, right flam? When you start over, you play the three, like one, two, three, one. Oh, okay. So it's three, one. Yeah. You're keeping them together. One, two, two, three, three, one. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So that's how you got the flam, flam. Where's that on the whiteboard? Right here. Flam, flam. And there's the opposite. Yep. Right. Flam, flam, left, flam, flam. Okay. And the left flam, flam is where? Over there? Right here. Ah, those two. Three, one. Ah, three, one. Okay. What so. Else? I don't know. Should I move on to countings now? Whatever works. What does it mean by stroke types? I see that written up there. So stroke types, there's... That's the, the height or like the volume of the stroke. So say here, that is accented, so that's a high. And the next time it's played is there, so it's a high high because it plays high and then you keep it up because the next time it plays, it plays loud again. And then what's the next time it plays? The next time it plays is here. If, you, if you alternate. If you alternate, yeah. But if you don't, if you don't alternate, you go back and it stays high. Oh, so they all stay high. Yeah. Oh, if wow. you're doing just the right. Can you show me how that works? And then what is the left's doing? The left in the grace note is me medium. Oh. Um, what? Grace notes are low. Oh, yeah. Uh, They're yeah. really tiny, small things. So low. Yeah. Grace note is low. And then it goes to medium. No, it just looks medium, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, low stays low. Left stays low the whole time. Okay. And I think the reason why you have it medium is because it's not a grace note. Mm -hmm. I think when's the only time we have medium strokes? Uh, if it were a flam, that was not accented. Yeah. So a compound stroke without an accent. Yeah. Yeah, which you don't see a lot. Okay. But if you go, if you alternate, that last right goes where? The right that would then go down to play the grace note for the left flam. Oh, it stays down. So it would be a high low. Oh. And then it stays down until here, where it would go up to play. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. That's the upstroke. Yeah, that. So how can you mark, so that, this is a lot to remember, how can I mark that, let's say we're going all the way across, how can I mark that so that I know where the upstrokes are? Should I mark it? Yeah, let's, how would you mark it? Um, so we'll start with right. Let's just mark the upstrokes. Just to start here, or here. Go left to right. Or, or right to left, one one direction or the other. 
Okay, well, we'll just start here. So, the right plays high, stays high. So that would be an HH. That, so that's one way to mark mark these H -H H's and L's and M's and stuff like that. But could you just, like, we already know it's high because it's accented. Is there a way to mark it just to say it has to go back up? Like with an arrow? Yeah, or a dash or something, a little accent mark, you know, like in French or other languages, a little dash, a little spike. Ding! Oh. Like that. Can you make it darker so I can see it from here? So that tells me it's got to go back up. And then but I'll just keep doing that. Let me figure out what's going on here. Um, then this right would go down after it plays. So like that, okay. This one, this right stays low. So should I? Yeah, I don't have to. Okay. It doesn't go up or down. That one stays low. That one stays low. This one goes high for the next. Oh, nice. Anything for the lefts? Uh, yeah. So this one starts low, or plays low, stays low. So does this one. This one goes up so it can play the flam. This one plays high, stays high to play this one. Oh, it does? Which, so if it stays high, do you mark it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then this left plays high, stays low. Okay. Wow. Can you show me how to play this now using doing all that stroke by stroke so I know how to follow you. So for the flam, the left will stay low, the right will stay high. So this left just stays low. This left for the for the flam, the left will play low and high. The right will end high play or play high and low. Yeah. For this flam, the right will stay low and the left will go high or stay high. The right will stay low and then the flam will open. That's the right and then. Cool. And then you're in position to start over. Oh, nice. So, now we'll move on to, oh, let's do shuffles. Um, so, we'll start with shuffling the flam flams, and then we can shuffle when we isolate as well. And so the flam flam is what part of the original triplet pot of fluff blah? The outside. Oh, that's the shuffle. Why is it a shuffle? If we count it as a shuffle, then it would be the... Yeah, we'll play on the same side. It's a shuffle. Why? Why is it? Why is that called a shuffle? That's a shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. What's the shuffle used for? Uh, used in blues, um, country, maybe even rock. Yeah, sometimes we're off. Dum 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 ba dum ba da da dum. <laughs> Sounds something like I've heard. Mm -hmm. So you're flaming the sh you're flaming the shuffle. Yeah. Or the other side. Why, 
why is it helpful to do all these two pos two stroke groups to break this three stroke group into pieces? Why is that so important? What is it doing for me? It's helping you learn each individual part of the rudiment so that when you play it all together it makes more sense and you know the parts individually so it's easier to put them together rather than just trying to play them all at once. Oh, is that what you meant by cinch? Yeah, cinch by the inch. Instead of? Instead of hard by the yard. Ah. So breaking it into parts by the inch instead of the whole thing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. What's this other thing about isolation? So you can also isolate certain parts of the rudiment. So here we have just the right hand, and then underneath it is just the left for this part. On the other side, you have just the left, and then the right underneath. Oh. And so what you realize with isolating is you have a shuffle with the, the lead hand, I guess. Yeah. And then just a triple playing underneath it. So. So much stuff and so little room. Right? Yep. Clutter everywhere. A drum room with too many things in it. Uh, so we'll start with just the right. Which is again the shuffle. And then underneath it, you have a triple playing on the left. So. Why do you put it right underneath, even though it's going to sound right? Somehow it comes out right, but it's right underneath. But it somehow sounds right, but it's exactly underneath. Oh. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because it's going back to that thing with the flams where... They're playing at the same time, but since this one's so much closer and lower, it plays before the right hand. Oh, uh, but your hands are moving at the same time. So yeah. that's why you can count it. One, two, three, yeah. yeah, okay. And then same thing on the other side. Shuffle with the left. And the triple with the ring. Is there a, another way to do it without just... I think I've seen somebody... Yeah, so we can... Go, go, go back to the different sounds and motions part with the isolation. Um, so like I said during the different sounds part, you can play just one hand on a different sound or you can even do play just one hand. So I could be playing this, the right, um, on the drum and be playing the triples on oh, my leg. Okay, you so. see that. Or the opposite, which is this. Wow. Or how you can hear the other hand yeah so this is a way you could have figured out without looking the different parts of the room. Uh, without even looking you could have figured this out oh I get it nice that seems like it might help because yeah. it seems like this instead of that gobbledygook up there all I had to do is say keep this going and play a shuffle yeah right
or do the opposite. So do this. Left, 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 right, right, right. Left, 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 right, right, right. Yeah. Right? And then just, okay, I get it. What's that expand thing? It's like, it's like spandex? Uh, it could be. <laughs> um, so that is, if you were to play the flams separated, so instead of playing them at the same time, you would play it like their own singles, like this. So here's the flam, but it's expanded, so it's just two singles. Yeah. And then and you just continue, didn't yeah. you? Oh, and you can put a space after it, just kind of get your brain. Oh, we're going to repeat it, right? Yeah. Oh, we always like to repeat and then... And then I'll close it. side yeah and then we'll play it's this it's just the opposite wow seems like you might have you might hear something new a new rudiment or a new way to use this maybe in your drumming something new yeah but somehow it's related very closely related wow two birds with one stone yep and then we repeated it and then we would do what and now we'll alternate it so. That's with a space, we could probably get rid of that, right? Let's see yeah. what happens. Oh, that's tricky. Why is it so tricky if we got rid of the space? Because you're switching from right back, oh right back to right. Oh, my gosh. Let's figure that out. Go slow, huh? Left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. What am I, why am I saying it? Because when Left. you say it, it's a lot easier to play it. Kind of programs the noodle. Mm -hmm. Slows us down, too. <laughs> Let's do that again. You say it for me. Are you putting a pause in there still? At first, Let's yeah. see. Slowly and evenly, right? Yeah. Left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. I messed up. No, that's okay. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's hard to say. It's probably only good for what? When you're playing slow. Slow. Uh, so now we can, I guess, play that a little faster. You better keep your eyes there, huh? some extra strokes in there <laughs> well uh, hitting on the rim seems to help yeah can can we break that up into two different pieces so you can see that there's two each of those is two things uh yeah we could like split it left right left left right yeah so you could split two three or three two i think um, two three makes sense doesn't it yeah left right Left, left, right. Right, left, right, right, left. 
So it seems like we can find patterns that will help us remember things. Yeah. And um, how does that help you with the original? It can help you find other patterns that are still in here. Um, that can help you learn it, like how we're breaking it up. Oh, gotcha. Uh, similar. Similar. What's all this gobbly gook? Gobbly gook. Uh, the countings. So there's, when we write this out, there's no right way to count it just by looking at this. So here are most of the um, possible countings that you could use when you're playing it. So you could use just quarter notes, which would be one, two, three. Or they would be, if it was 6-8 time, 6 counts uh, yeah. in the measure, 8th eighth note eighth note gets a count. So I guess it just depends on the time signature. I'm just, okay, gotcha. So let's do so, that. Yeah. We'll just repeat for okay. the sake, right. sake of yeah. counting. Yeah, simplicity. 1, 2, let's count for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do we want to count louder for those accents? Uh, yeah. To program our head? One, one two, two, three, one. one. I'm sorry. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's cool. What's this other thing? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What would kind be? of meter would that be? What kind of signature? Uh, three, four, or three, eight. Yeah. So that would be similar to or that. Or 316 times. <laughs> Some crazy 330 second. <laughs> just three. We don't know. Yeah. It's very similar. Just instead of four, five, six, you start over the middle. Start in the middle. One, two, three. 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 So that's that. Next would be um, one and two. Eighth notes. Um, yeah. And three. And so this would be three, four time. Yeah. Okay. If you um, went all the way across, or you repeated something twice, right? Yeah. You have to do something twice. Right. Yeah. Okay. One, one and two, two and. Okay. One, one and two and three and. 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 That's tricky, huh? But you, I guess you could put spaces in there. Yeah. So I could go one and two and nothing there, three and four, and now we're back in a four four time. Oh, so it just screws everything up. Spaces. Yeah. Uh, next would be eighth note triplets. Why shuffle over there? Shuffle would be just just a different counting. So we can do that. It's because you had one and two and three and it was right next to one, a two, a three. Uh. Yeah. So, so this is this same counting, just shuffle. Shuffle. Can we can we do that? Why? And oh, it's it's because of that shuffle, shuffle. Yeah. Okay. For so, blues, you said. Yeah, blues, jazz, rock, jazz. Jazz. yeah, all sorts of things. So one, one uh, two, uh, three. One, uh, two, uh, three. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because it's one and two and three in? Mm -hmm. One, right, straight, one. straight is one and two and three in. One and two and three in. One and two and three. One and two and three in. One and two and three. So now we're going to shuffle that? One, uh, two, and, huh? One, uh, two, uh, Wow, that's weird. Yeah. That's one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, one, a uh, two. Wow, that is wicked. And then
and that's that same trouble feeling. And we can also... Oh, that's for 16s. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Okay. Now we have the 8th note triplets, um, which... One E, a two E, a... One E, a two E, a 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 One Oh, okay, right, that's cool. Here are the 16th note countings we could do. One E and, E and a, and a two, a two E. Oh, it looks like you're kind of doing something here. That's just shifting the counting. Oh. Um, yeah. Just going over. Starting at a different place each time, just starting yeah. over. Okay. So for this we play 1 E and, 2 E and. 1 E and. 1 E and. 2 E and. So there's a little space after it, right? 1 E and. Up. E and. Up. Yeah. What's the E and up? Uh, e and up. Uh. E and up uh, is same except there's a space at the beginning. One. So one E and up uh, two. And uh, one E and up uh, two. E and up uh, three. And, uh, that makes sense. And a two. Um, so now there's a space in the E. So, so we skip the one and the e and start on the and okay. of one. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Okay, that sounds like a bonanza or something. Yeah. Um, upping gal, upping gal, right? Upping gal, upping gal, upping gal. Okay. Now it, a two e, so we're skipping the and now. So one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Well, wow, okay, that's complicated. Um, so here would be the shuffle of that. Of um, one E and maybe? Yeah, it's one yeah, E and. Yeah. So yeah. it's just, instead of one E and, it would be one E and. One E and, one E and, one E and. Yeah, a skippy, skippy, skippy down the pathway. This is adding spaces here. Oh, I think we did some of these. Yeah. One E. One, right? Let's do the one and a. One E and. One E and a. Two E and a. I guess we haven't done this yet. No, 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 we can really do this. This is different, huh? This uh, is yeah. next one. Yeah, it's different. One E. No, sk uh, skip the end. Yeah. One E and a uh, two E and The left hand play that high all the time? Is the left One. hand ever high? No. Oh, okay. Gotta keep it down. Okay, it's a cool rhythm. Now, one E and spaces on the. Ah, uh, oh, we've done this. Yeah. Um, Down, left hand down, right? Very cool. Now we skip the one, E and a. Uh, yeah. It's the same as here. Yeah. And then 
now we have 16th note triplets, which is like 8th note triplets, but 16th. Twice as fast. One E E. One E E and a a. E E and a a. Yeah, it sounds the same, but it's different, huh? Yeah, counted different. What's this and a a? And a uh, is the second part of a 16th note triplet. That's what we were just oh, okay. skipping when we were playing. So one we e count e. soft. Yeah. One E E and a uh, uh. One E E and a uh, uh. Two one. E E and a uh, uh. Three E E and a uh, uh. Four E E and a uh. Wow. Woo! So, uh, I think that about covers it. I don't know. And if you have any other great ideas, down in the comment section on the video. Oh, yeah, if you have anything to add, any ideas, ways to help learn the rudiment, get good at it, leave it in the comments below. Sweet! Good job! Bravo, bravo. Good job.